hello this is Pam thank you for joining me for another video in the last video I posted I gave you a picture journey of some of the things I harvested during the winter of 2020 so as this year comes to an end I thought I'd show you some of the wonderful things I harvested during the spring and summer so before we get started make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with all of your gardening buddies so let's get started these are things I harvested during the winter not winter I'm sorry during the spring and the summer months of 2020 first of all we have red and golden potatoes I had not grown potatoes in a while so I decided to grow again this year and I was satisfied the zucchini squash was wonderful I had more squash than I could handle a lot of squash ended up going bad because it was just so much but of course when you have zucchini squash you need to spiral it and make yourself some zucchini spaghetti I grew buttercup squash for the first time this year and I was very impressed I absolutely plan to grow buttercup squash again every year um, this is the inside of the squash. It has an orange flesh. And when I cook this, it tastes just like sweet potatoes. This is some of the garlic that was planted during the winter, but it was not ready until the spring. I was satisfied with the garlic. I was very satisfied with the butternut squash, as well as the sugar baby watermelons that were grown this year. Here we have some wonderful green beans. Cucumbers did fairly well. Next year I have a different method I want to use with trellising the cucumbers. So stay tuned for that. Here's another sugar baby watermelon. I ended up with a lot of watermelons this year. And uh, they were very, very tasty. Quite a few cantaloupes this year, but they had one problem. For some reason, the squirrels took like half the cantaloupes. Here we have a closer image of some of the garlic that was planted um, in the winter and harvested during the spring. Cherry tomatoes did absolutely wonderful. I took so many Ziploc bags of uh, tomatoes to my neighbors. They were overloaded with tomatoes. Beautiful marigolds. I plant those throughout the garden to help deter certain pests. I also grew corn again for the first time in a few years. I stopped at one point because the squirrels always took the corn, but this year the squirrels did not take the corn and we actually ended up with a few ears of corn. Go out 
out and pick blueberries and I use those blueberries to make blueberry pancakes. Of course, we cannot forget about the delicious strawberries. I actually plan to expand my strawberries um, for next season grow more. Here is a baby persimmon that was just starting to grow. I actually I grew more fruit than this but I just wanted to show you a few click um, clips of some of the fruit um, that was growing this season but I thank you so much for watching again if you have not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for another video I plan to post a video every weekend